What up, girl? I'm Verterous comedian and willpower enthusiast Dan Upton. Welcome to the Doomcast. Let's talk about the Green Lantern. The Green Lanterns are space cops, and the Green Lantern Corps was created by the Guardians, a group of fascist space hobbit wizards that originated at the beginning of time. So they know what's best, right? So that's why they created the police force known as the Green Lantern Corps. So they arm them with rings that use willpower to create hard light constructs that'll make anything that the wearer can imagine. Lasers, planes, trains, automobiles, hammers, boxing gloves, but mostly boxing gloves. Because if you're going to be a fascist space cop, and you're going to be discharging your weapon against unknown intergalactic minorities, probably better that it's something non-lethal, like a boxing glove. Right? Anyway, there's 3,600 Green Lanterns in existence, but seven of them are from Earth. So I'm going to rank those seven. Which are the best Green Lanterns from Earth? GO! Of the seven that have been on Earth, which ones are the best? We'll start with the last place. And he's one of the newest Green Lanterns, Simon Baz, who was inspired by Jeff John's time growing up in Detroit as a half Lebanese child of immigrants. Uh, Simon Baz is a Muslim who was wrongfully accused of being a terrorist and was given a Green Lantern ring, um, but hasn't done much yet. Also, curiously, Simon decided that he needed a gun as a sidearm, just in case the ring failed him. Because, you know, when you're flying in space or underwater, you're going to need a gun to sh shoot the water or space into submission to keep you from suffocating. Oh wait, there's no water in either, so your gun's not going to fire. I'm not really sure exactly what he thinks he needs to do with the gun. Maybe for the same reason that most people think that they need a gun. In any case, um, guns are stupid in the hands of Green Lanterns when you already have the most powerful weapon in the universe. Simon Baz hasn't done too much of anything quite yet, so he ends up in last place. Next is Jessica Cruz. She got the powers of Power Ring from Earth 3 when that character lost his arm, died, and the ring that possessed him, which feeds off of fear, came and found her unable to leave her apartment. She fought in the Dark Side War alongside the Justice League, which is a heck of a lot more than Simon Baz has done, and as a result, after giving her life, uh, was revived by a Green Lantern ring. The Corps needed another Green Lantern, apparently, and so it shows her, and that makes her number six. Guy Gardner was introduced in 1968 and named for legendary comics creator Gardner Fox. He's hot-headed and hot-tempered, and he served as one of the heads of the Justice League International during Keith Giffen's legendary run, which you should read, uh, but he's currently in possession of a Red Lantern Ring of Rage, and because he normally sports a bowl cut or a terrible mullet, I'm not giving him a very high rank on this list. Jon Stewart was the face of the Green Lantern Corps and Earth's primary Green Lantern in Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, uh, the cartoon series that happened in the early 2000s. Uh, because of that, he's very well known. Uh, he was chosen because he was an architect and later retconned to be a Marine Corps sniper. And because of that, he's quite a heavy hitter. Most of his constructs are very military in nature. He was created by Denny O'Neill and Neil Adams, who are both legends in their own right. Uh, and his run as a Green Lantern has been fraught with a lot of loss. Uh, namely, the destruction of the entire planet of Zanshi and all of its inhabitants, as well as the death of his spouse, Katma Tui. However, uh, Green Lanterns are not strangers to loss, and he does overcome great fear. Alan Scott's the OG, Earth's original Green Lantern. He was created by Martin O'Dell and Bill Finger, the original Batman artist, in 1940. And his ring didn't run on willpower, but rather on magic, and it was forged from a lantern that was also forged from a meteorite that was later retconned to be a meteorite called the Star Heart that actually ended up inside of Alan Scott and allowed him to wield his magical powers but also never to age. He was a core member of the Justice Society and its leader uh, and the head of uh, Gotham City's TV station for the longest time. He's one of the most powerful beings in the DCU, but he has a key weakness, and that's that his ring doesn't work on things like wood. That's right, matchsticks, or toothpicks, can kill him. So, that makes him three. Hal Jordan was created in 1959 by John Broom and Gil Kane, a hotshot test pilot that discovers a dying alien in a crash spaceship out in the desert and gets a Green Lantern ring and ends up becoming a space cop. He regularly butts heads with the Guardians, who are hyper-authoritarian and Green Lanterns, usually pretty straight-laced, but somewhat liberal. Um, he's a founder of the original Justice League, but because of the fact that he went crazy, became Parallax, and murdered every other Green Lantern and destroyed a whole lot of the universe, and he ended up so sorry that he became the Spirit of Vengeance, the Spectre, I don't see him as number one. Way to be sorry, Hal. After Hal Jordan murdered all of the Green Lanterns, 
and almost all of the Guardians, the last living Guardian, Ganthet, and the only one to ever take a name, gave the most powerful Green Lantern ring in existence to Kyle Rayner. Kyle Rayner is my number one choice for a lot of reasons. First of all, he was the primary Green Lantern in my favorite JLA run, and that was by Grant Morrison. But moreover, he eventually becomes the living embodiment of willpower, which is Ion, and it gives him power to even almost create life. Um, the entire core gets resurrected because of him. That is all of the Green Lanterns. Um, and a lot of things change during his tenure as being a Green Lantern and having been a Green Lantern. He's also the only person in the DC Universe to ever be able to wield all of the different color lantern rings and also the only stable white lantern. Also, it's his ring that ends up surviving to the 853rd century when it's hidden in a piece of kryptonite that's used and fired by a rival sentient sun at Earth's regular sun, in which is living the classic continuity Superman. But when that piece of kryptonite ends up inside of the sun, it's grabbed by that Superman, destroyed, and he pulls out the Green Lantern ring and uses it to whoop that rival sun's ass. It sounds real weird, but it's a pretty damn awesome story. DC 1 million. Anyway, Kyle Rayner is boss. So, there you have my choices for the ranking of Earth's Green Lanterns. At some point, I'm going to definitely do a ranking of and uh, of my favorite alien Green Lanterns, but until that time, tweet at the Doomcast, because I'd love to hear your opinions on this list, and I might even end up reading one of the tweets in a future episode. So, until then, thank you.